working with daddy. Well, in 1950, I took a little nip. Good morning, everybody. It's uh, late in the week, uh, vlog time. And uh, I remember a little fishing story from way back. It was in the 1970s, and me and Alan went fishing with Hank Jr., Hank Williams Jr. Um, my Uncle Johnny uh, had formed me. He was taking Jay, his son, pretty young then, and they were going fishing. Wanted to know if we wanted to come with them. So I called Alan, it doesn't take much to talk us into it, you know, so we, we headed out. Um, you need to know what fishing means to Uncle Jay. Yeah, he didn't have any rods and reels. Uh, too much trouble, he said. Uh, his consisted of uh, trot lines and yo-yos. That's, that's all he took. Uh, I got a picture here to show you what we're talking about. Let's see if I can move my camera. All right, there's a bucket. He'd have uh, drops about a foot long made up with hooks lining in a bucket like that. In the bottom there, you can see some little cups with concrete made for weight. And then you'd have a long cord rolled up on a stick. He'd stretch that stick, that line out. Those drops would hang about every 30 inches. Uh, weights in the middle and that trot line would be down toward the bottom uh, looking for some catfish. Then he'd go hang out some yo-yos. And there they are, auto fishers they're called. It ain't really fishing at all. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, you can catch fish, there's no doubt about it, but uh, don't mistake that for real fishing. You know, when you're out there with a rod and reel in hand after some bass or crappie or something. So we arrived at the camp there Friday afternoon, and Johnny and Jay were already there, and they were out uh, setting their lines, and me and Alan launched, went fishing, caught some fish. So we got stuff for a fish fry, and uh, camp was about a half mile from the lake. We'd seen it coming in. So about dark, we came in, lost our, loaded our boat, because you don't leave it down there, so I'm not steal it, pulled it up to our camp, a little clearing. They had a fire going, and had a, they had an old van they sleeping in. Me and Alan just throwing bedrolls down on the ground around the fire, like an old time camp out. And we fried up our fish, and ate supper, had some taters and onions, and uh, they got this tape in. It's called, uh, the pressure is on. I hope we can see that pretty good. It's a Hank Williams deal. Um, and I've got it. Here it is on 33 Long Play. Look at some of these songs. Uh, Country Boy Can't Survive. Tennessee Stud. Uh, All My Brandy Friends Have Settled Down. And the right down at the bottom, The Ballad of Hank Williams. You're hearing it in the background now. And he had it played in a loop. So it just kept playing over and over and over all these songs. We went to bed, it's still playing all these songs over and over and over. We got up the next morning, it's still playing. And we couldn't hardly fish, concentrate, just laughing on uh, listening to that song. Battle of the Hank Jr. was the main one. Uh, and I'm telling you, uh, I want you to go listen to it. Um, just one time, pull up on YouTube, but be warned, you're going to just... Be singing it all day. Matter of fact, I've listened to it three or four times early this morning, five o'clock, setting up to get ready for this. Um, Battle of Hank Williams, and the punchline is he fired some people that he didn't even know. And I'm heading to class, uh, got to teach all day, and I hope I don't get fired for singing the song during class all day. Anyway, uh, I'll talk to you next week. Hope you enjoy this. Send me in some of your stories about going fishing and hunting. I'd sure like to put them on too. And every end of the week, Thursday, Friday, we'll put us up a new video on our blog. Thanks.